Hi Virgo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Thank you for joining me again this week. Um, you know, we have a lot of a lot of videos from last week. If you missed it, uh, you can always look in the um, weekly Zodiac readings. Uh, it's a playlist all on its own, so it should be easy to find. But Virgo, this energy is for the next seven days. Virgo sun, Virgo moon, Virgo rising sign. Wherever Virgo is influencing your, char your natal chart, you can plug these energies in for the next seven days. So let's get right into your oracle reading. Remembering that there is always an extended reading, a link to an extended reading down below, which is a full tarot card spread and a romance reading. Virgo, crowning your reading this week. Trust the great mystery. Dive in deep. You're taking the plunge. Bottom line. Uh, it, it's a leap of faith. It's it's, But it's more than a leap of faith. It's almost like you know that you're going to be okay. Um, falling in love. You know, taking a new job. Uh, starting something completely and totally, um, maybe not like you, maybe a little bit more emotional. This is this has got a feeling of accepting your feelings, of finally feeling comfortable with yourself and your world and and uh, the direction that things are headed, and deciding to not try to hold back anymore and just let it wash over you. Center of your reading is you can come overcome any obstacle. So I think encouraging this energy and this certainty in you this week is that you have overcome something, that you've made a major breakthrough, that you've felt like your life has turned a major corner, gotten some really good news, something has finally come through. There's this energy of something, of feeling like at this point I can do anything. So this, this real beautiful energy of feeling really secure about who you are and yourself. This is also about digging, could be also about digging a little bit deeper and you know finding that metal deep down in your gut, finally finding inspiration to us, uh, um, to um, traverse a difficulty that you've been having, finally making some sort of breakthrough and, and, and getting things done and not caring about how difficult it is, just basically going, going gung-ho and saying, it doesn't matter how difficult this is, what matters is I'm going to do it. Uh, and just making the decision. Okay, surrounding energy is be fearless and bold. So this is definitely an energy of a lot of fire in your gut this week. This is an Aries energy. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries, Virgo, but there's an energy of feeling good about yourself. Um, and at least, the, no, no, this is definitely feeling good about yourself. Uh, even if you're even if you're a little bit awkward, a little bit eccentric, letting your eccentricities show um, security. Uh, something something has been shored up. I feel like a major breakthrough has been has come through for you this week. Um, slow and steady wins the race. It took a while for you to get here, and it took a while for this abundance to arrive. This is Cancerian energy. Um, this is also a card for me about emotional about emotional security. Hold on one second. A certain amount of emotional maturity of now I feel comfortable. You've made a major breakthrough. There was something that was really getting you down and really making you feel like absolute poo-poo about yourself. This would be that issue of a past relationship making you feel ugly, of feeling like you weren't good enough, something like something wearing on your brain for a long time, had something that had made you feel like you weren't good enough, like questioning your value or questioning um, your security, questioning your life direction, questioning your choices. It would have been something really large in your life, but it's just gotten settled. You've literally been able to wash it away and find some sort of serenity in who you are. Uh, learn knowing that you have this, it's just a, an emotional breakthrough uh, this week. So somebody could have finally told you how they feel about you this week, getting messages and getting word of, of love and emotions coming through finally that has been blocked up. Something of um, a clarity that has been able to push through and make you feel like you're back into that serenity, like you have um, 
like you have a stability in your emotions. There's a lot of emotions here. So you could be dealing with a water sign, which is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but there is an energy of really powering through and finally finding a way out or through or to overcome. There's a finish here over the next seven days. There's a conclusion. Like I said, potentially there's lots of clarity coming through for you, Virgo. But it definitely makes you feel good about yourself again. Put you back on solid footing. But this is emotional solid footing. Be peace. Once again, a card of balance, a card of happiness, a card of abundance coming to you, being delivered. This is Libra energy. So Libra energy always seeks to ensure some sort of, um, a sort of, clarity and stability but once again it's not necessarily it's like a conflict has ended right and it could have been you that decided to end this conflict almost like it was you that decided to make the phone call it was you that decided to call the meeting it was you that decided to um it's like you put, you were the initiator. You put the first foot forward. You were the conduit for things to actually get better and make progress. And now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. It's being returned back to you. You're actually being able to enjoy or participate in the sort of pleasure. I don't want to say pleasure, but calmness happiness of the action that you took something that you decided to do six plus five has the energy of 11 plus two this could be with some sort of relationship that you had got out of some sort of relationship with somebody that meant a great deal to you making a decision that you could finally move on and and put yourself into another relationship even though you had left an old one behind one that was hard for you to let go of and hard for you to settle there's a complete release this week of of knowing uh, it's almost like there was there was a set of trials and ups and downs a lot of fear and worry and concern and stress. And even though you knew things were going to get better, it was very difficult for you to hang on to that roller coaster ride. This has been a big old roller coaster ride. And now it's just coming to an end and there's this relief. There's this, but I did it. I went through it and I, and I chose to go through it. There was, there's partially, this is you. This is you being the conduit for things now finally finally being on steady ground and being able to be smooth and you made it through. So there's a really wonderful reason to celebrate this week, Virgo. Sometimes life stings and tend to the small things, follow up this energy of, okay, you're going to have to be the conduit. You're going, you might have to be the one who delivers, not necessarily bad news. It's not necessarily bad news, but it is a rough message. A message of do you know that there's a problem here there's an issue and we have to address it something that's been on your mind for a while um, something that hurt you very deeply and sort of has infected your world and it could be that one little thing that's been needling you uh, in a world of wonderful things happening you there could be this one thing that stuck with you because it hurt so badly and there was just this this feeling of it not going away. There could be a buzz. Sometimes there's a buzz that something is up or something is growing. So Virgo, you could also be feeling this week that something is growing. There's something under the surface or you know what it is and you just haven't found a way to come out about it. But the bottom line is this week you dive deep and you break down those walls. You see the mice in the walls? <laughs> you know, <laughs> there's like... You know, when there's one, you see one, there's like 500 behind the walls. So there is this energy of something has been building inside of you and it's been hurting and it's, 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 it's needling you. It's not like a huge attack. 
it's been needling you, or it could very well be something that somebody did that hurt you very deeply, that stung. And the memory of that sting, it keeps coming back. Maybe you're still in the same vicinity of this person. Maybe you're still connected. You're still in the na same network of friends, but there is an energy of the sting keep coming back around, not because they keep attacking you, but because for some reason you keep being reminded of it. So it would be that conflict that you're actually addressing this week. You're just diving in because you don't want this. You don't, you want peace. That's why. And you know, at this point that you deserve peace. And so in a very bold and brash way, you've made the decision and it's a very mature decision. If this is, this is you being the grown up, playing the role of the grown up this week, Virgo. Uh, be generous of spirit to look into the future and have confidence in yourself. This is also a Leo energy. You have Leo energy and Aries energy on the table, which is very much feeling at one with yourself, ha taking pride in who you are, taking a stance for what you believe in, but doing it gently. So you would definitely be confronting somebody this week. There's a confrontation that is healing, a healing confrontation for you this week and you're initiating it and you're just taking in the dive. I, I feel like there's an opportunity has come up and when you, when it, you see it come up, you'll just, you'll just dive in because it, it, it's something that you know has needed to be addressed for quite some time and you're just ready. This is a really great high energy week for you. Like I said, there's just so much fire sitting in your belly this week and you have an energy that may, it may surprise you, but whether it takes you by storm or not, it doesn't matter. You have it. You have a strong sense of self this week, and you're really not going to let anything pass you by that gives you an opportunity to maintain it or stabilize it or ensure that that peace continues. So in a very mature sense, this is also a very mature energy. It's a dignified energy. It's a self-respect energy. It's integrity, having the integrity to move on. But you know, this is, this is why this is the central energy. You know, in order to move on, the only way to move on is to get through it. And so with a great amount of integrity, decency, self-respect, and a beautiful way of communicating a sort of peace, you're extending an olive branch to somebody that had um, had maybe hurt you or disappointed you a great deal in the past. And it's just not talking about it has not helped you. I do sense that there, because Mouse is present here, that there was maybe, you know, um, a decision on your part to not say anything, not do anything, to let this play out on its own. But the truth is, where there is one mouse, there's 400 in the walls. And so it just kept growing and it didn't go anywhere and it, it didn't smooth out itself. The sting just kind of grew and stayed there because nobody was saying anything. And now I think you're letting out your roar and you're, you're, you're sounding out about this. Um, definitely communication coming in. This energy could be reversed, of course, and you could finally be getting some sort of communication from somebody else. Um, that actually helps you to move on and make peace. But it is a very ma emotionally mature energy that realizes and understands that to not talk about it or to think that it's, you know, like uh, you can slide it under the carpet, that's not what you can do. That you don't, and I, you've been trying it and it hasn't worked. And so this week is the week of resolution. I'm going to pull your um, stabilizing or grounding energy for the week, Virgo. Let me see. Let me see if another card wants to come out. We'll just see. One card has already come out. Hold on. Okay. One card came out. Embrace the in-between. This is also Libran energy. So it's also having a lot of flair and feeling really good about yourself. You know, you might put your high heels on. You might put your best suit on. It's almost like whoever you're confronting this week or what whatever challenge you're confronting, you're gonna show up in your best fanfare. So you wanna make sure that you look good. There's a sense of, um, yes, I am going there for resolution. Yes, I am going there for um, peace, internal peace. Um, but I'm also gonna show up looking damn good and making sure that they know what either they lost, passed up, or pissed off. And you're gonna just, you're gonna just, you, you wanna take that pride in yourself. You want to demonstrate that pride in yourself outwardly so that nobody 
questions your self-respect or your self-dignity. And also there is a little sense, and this could be part of your inspiration and what's, what's fueling you, you know, kind of getting that fuel is there's a sense of, um, eat your heart out, eat your heart out. Um, now that's part of you getting over this. You know, I would definitely rec like recommend, it, you know, you don't want to hold on to that energy of even caring what they think about you. But I think that you've gotten to a point where you're just like, but I feel good about me again. And I'm going to show up in the best way possible. But also, yeah, maturely, absolutely. But I'm going to show up looking really, really good. I feel like there has been this sense of we've let enough time go by. And now it's time for a confrontation. Not a, not a, there's no violence. There's no roughness, but there is, we need to say something. Something needs to be said. This needs to, this, this needs to happen. You have been biding your time. You have been very economical. You have been um, pushing back and forth resource. You, you've been finding every which way you can to um, do anything else but confront this situation and now is the time when you're just like okay I've got to admit it I've been trying to not confront the situation and it's silly and it's not getting me anywhere and I want to get somewhere because my life is beautiful and I feel like I do feel like there was this energy of you thought you thought that you could let this go but in letting it go it just kept growing and hurting more and so to get your to get your sense of dignity back, you have decided to act, say something or or do something to sort of heal the wounds. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you could be dealing with I don't think you're dealing with a Cancerian. There's a lot of fire here, but the fire is are like your two pillars. So it's almost like they're infusing you. You could also have support coming from the outside, like like uh, friend support. Um, like I said, if you're in a network, a friend's network, you could have consulted two people that are in the network and, and talk to them about the situation and they are encouraging you, um, um, not egging you on. This is all very balanced energy. I have to say it's, it's really nice. It's a really nice feeling that's going on here. There's a mature energy um, central to your reading could be some sort of earth energy other than yourself. So this is a this is Taurus energy. But see, see. As awkward as rhinoceros can be, he puts his crown back on. He's finding his crown. He's getting his crown back on. He, he, he believes in himself again. And he's celebrating himself by allowing that sort of... He's just celebrating himself. And allowing... Okay. But I love... It. Actually, hold on. Let me turn the camera around. Okay. So here we are. I just wanted to show you, I just wanted to show you the crowds, these, these two pillars, which are very fire energy, but also a strong, firm sense of who you are and your future of wanting your future to be bright, of knowing that your future is going to be bright and that infusing you with an energy that makes you be able to overcome all of these things that have been hurting you for a while. Now, these two are surrounding you, almost strengthening you and encouraging you, being your strength. What I wanted to show you was, see, Rhino has a little tiny crown. He puts his crown on. He puts it right there out in front. But at the same, <coughs> oh, excuse me for, oh, I apologize. Excuse me. At the same time, I think sneezes mean this is a major message. At the same time, um, at the same time, Rhino doesn't make a big deal of the crown. So it's not about showing or being flashy. It's about the way they feel. It's about that internal strength and uh, solidarity. Um, so you could be, excuse me, once again, receiving some sort of support or um, um, alliance from people on the outside, people that are involved in this network too, people, somebody who has, has known that this has been growing and this has been a problem. Um, um, but, but there hasn't been a confrontation and this week there has to be, there has to be because, be, because you're ready. 
you're ready to move on and not live with this as a part of your life because your future is extremely bright and this can't come with you. You know, it's almost like you're moving, you're moving on to a whole new place. Who wants to bring the pests with them? You don't. This has to be exterminated. And the way that you're going to exterminate it is call on the doves. Let them eat up, let them eat up the wasps. Make the peace, right? Make make the peace, like be the conduit, um, actually, actually, uh, strike up that courage, which I think you absolutely have and find a way to resolve this issue. So, um, I'm going to continue this over on, um, on the extended video. Please do find that link below. And I'll also pull some cards if you're curious about your romance reading. I'll see you over there, Virgo.